Hey guys, uh, you guys are driving with Ken Gucci and you guys are watching a 360 video with Driving Giants. And uh, if you guys are uh, using a smartphone, go ahead and uh, look around. You can scroll, scroll around the screen with your smartphone. Or if you guys are using a headset, go ahead and look around. Uh, it's pretty cool, you can see where I'm driving. Uh, feel like you're driving with me. So I came to uh, Los Angeles from Okinawa when I was two years old. Moved here with my family. And then when I was eight years old, my dad let me drive his Datsun B110 Sunny around the shop. And uh, not only did he let me just drive it, I was doing donuts and burnouts around the shop parking lot and also helping him move customers' cars around. So that's how I got my start in driving. And then when I was 13, he took me to a dry lake bed about an hour and a half north of Los Angeles called El Mirage. So uh, that's where he really taught me car control, so sliding cars around. And the car we took was a 1986 Toyota Corolla GTS or AE Hachiroku. Uh, with that car, I learned the basics of sliding around, um, you know, some rally maneuvers, car control tricks, but I really got hooked on drifting. Fast forward 15 years, I'm a works driver for Toyota Racing in a Toyota 86. So it all went full circle from starting off in a 1986 uh, Toyota Corolla or A86 to now drifting professionally in a 2017 Toyota 86. I guess you can say that my dad was the biggest influence in my story. My dad and I have this really strange relationship where we don't really talk much. Um, I don't know if that's a Japanese thing, but I see it a lot in Japanese cultures where the dad's kind of, you know, quiet. Um, he's just chill. He's a man of few words. So we don't really communicate verbally, but you know, like, I sort of know how he feels. He knows how I feel. He knows what I'm thinking. He knows what I'm going through. Yeah, um, back in the day, of course, we don't speak English at all, you know. I understand a little bit, but we cannot speak. So, but we had to survive, which is uh, we had to eat to living. So uh, we started from uh, the gardening, gardening, like a gardening service. Cut the trees and that kind of stuff, you know, to, to living. I want to try uh, the Pike Speak Race, which is... Uh, very dangerous. I asked my father, you know, I want to come to America, do the motor sport, and he said, you know what, let's go. You know, whole family come to America, and since, since then, we are here. To me personally, to be a Toyota factory driver means a dream come true to me. I grew up knowing Toyotas, learning about Toyotas, working on Toyotas, um, watching my dad fix Toyotas, and actually learning how to drive in a Toyota. So I've been with uh, Toyota for about 10 years now and it's an extremely fortunate opportunity for me. Uh, well, I'm already overwhelmed. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, so. just getting here was like, you can just see the whole, you know, it's pretty much like a city. Yes, <laughs> much bigger than Torrance. Yeah. And, uh, it's a great opportunity for all the different divisions within Toyota North America to work together and collaborate, uh -huh. uh, allowing us to make faster decisions and essentially make ever better cars. So, so you're saying everyone's here now? Yes. Call center, &D, tech call center, center motorsports. Motorsports is here as well. Even so, a museum? Yes. And as you can see behind us, we do have a couple of our museum cars that made the journey as well. Yeah. And there's going to be more to come once our museum's up and running. So yeah, this is our courtyard, connecting all the buildings yeah. together. This is so nice. It's seriously like a college campus. Yeah. Very open. Yeah. Very much that feel. And so I noticed there's like chairs and yeah. like little seating areas. Like yes. what, what is that for? So basically our management has been encouraging all of us team members to get away from our desks. Mm -hmm. So when we were in California, we all had our cubicles. Now we have open office spa uh, space and seating and they even still say go beyond that. So they give us laptop computers instead mm -hmm. of desktops to allow us to go, hey, you know what, I'm not going to work at my desk today. I can work over there on one of those tables and really? be able to connect to Wi-Fi and still get work done. Basically, now we're approaching your favorite spot that you were asking for earlier. Yes. The cafeteria. I knew the smell was coming from somewhere. Yeah. 
So uh, we've got everything from all sorts of cuisines, from the uh -huh. grill to the deli to Asian food. Wow. Food changes here daily. Everything is made fresh here. One of the highlights, I guess, of our entire cafeteria is that everything's made fresh. They've been stressing that a lot, eating healthy. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, Darren. Thank yeah. you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks I for appreciate coming it. By. I appreciate yeah. it. I love showing you headquarters. Yeah, it was great. It's and, gigantic. Uh, oh, man. I tell you. Yeah, I'll be back soon. You better. Yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, where is your car? Yep. Ballet service, baby. Wow. All right. All right, buddy. Alrighty. Thanks, man. Thank you. See you later. See you later. All right. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble now. Oh boy. If any round counts this year, round seven here at Formula Drift Texas is the one. Now that we're here in Dallas, the mecca of, I guess, Toyota USA, uh, we would have to put on a really good show. And I think we've come pretty prepared uh, for this weekend's Formula Drift. That's like yesterday, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't think any of us were born yet. <laughs> He's got a big hat. He is the original Gucci in the Gretti Performance Toyota Racing Toyota Corolla GT86 on Nexon Tires. It is the OG Kenshiro Gucci. Man, know what to do. Go for it here, buddy. And now here we go. Ryan Turk, Ken Gucci. Send it into that first outside clipping zone. Ryan Turk all the way out of the outside zone. Ken Gushi for going in to gain that proximity, that angle. You can see him knocking over that front clip. Now into the power alley, gaining some ground. Big angle from Ryan Turk. That smoke signal, that smoke line is really in Ken Gushi's face. Ryan Turk getting all the way out to that outside zone, tightening up to that final front clip and dialing in. Nice job by Ken Gushi and Ryan Turk out front. Ken Gushi gets the win. Ken Gushi takes out Ryan Turk.